Hi, I am here to do an empties video and I have a ton of stuff in my bag. Um, part of the problem, well not really the problem, part of the bag is I went through my makeup collection yesterday and cleaned out a bunch of uh, mainly lip products that I've had for a long time. I don't wear anymore. They kind of smelled funny. So I wanted to throw them in here too just to uh, show you what I'm tossing out and why. Um, the stuff that can be recycled will, the rest of the stuff is going to just have to be thrown in the trash. Um, so, let's start out with this, which I finished. This is the Neutrogena Naturals. It was in my shower. <laughs> the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. I love this face wash. You can put it over your eyes. I hate when you buy a face wash. It's like, avoid eye area. Really? because I want to put it on my eye area. That annoys me. So, this is fine to put over your eyes. It removes makeup. It's a great cleanser. It works well on my little uh, Skin Sonic, which is like the Clarisonic. So, um, actually I went to Walmart today for groceries and I picked up another one of these because I love it so much. Okay, as I go through these, I'm gonna throw them in another bag. The next thing I have is the Aussie Miraculously Smooth um, Mousse. This was alright. I mean, it's not a favorite, but it was alright, and I would probably buy it again. So, there's that. Then I have the Dove um, Extra Hold Hairspray. There's a little bit in there, but I can't get it out. The sprayer won't spray anymore. Um, this is okay, too. I would buy this again also. I don't wear a lot of hairspray. I just spray it lightly on my hair, maybe to give a little more volume or whatever. So, hairspray for me, unless it's like complete crap, I'm not very picky about. Then I have these Equate Refreshing Cleansing Palettes. They're supposed to compare to the Garnier Refreshing Palettes. Um, there was 40 in here, and they were like 5 bucks. When I first opened these, I thought, oh, these are so dry, I'm going to hate them. But actually, after I got out about five or six of them, they weren't bad at all. I would definitely repurchase these. These were pretty good. So, go Walmart. Um, the next thing I have is the Venus Sensitive Disposable Razors. Venus are probably my favorite disposable razors. I mean, I buy whatever I have a coupon for because I do cut coupons for razors. Um, but these are really good. Then I have the Cotton 100% Cotton Premium Squares that I bought at Walmart. Um, I really like these. I would buy these again. They're probably one of my favorite ones that I bought that were inexpensive. Then I have another hairspray. I have the Tresemme Tray 2 Spray. I really like this hairspray. I will buy this again. Um, it works really good. Then I have these Up and Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Palettes. It's supposed to compare to the Neutrogena ones. I don't like these. They're too dry. They don't have the right slip. I will not purchase these again. Um, then I have the Mango Butter Soap Shea and Cocoa Butter. I got these from this from Vitacost. This soap's okay. I'll use it. I won't purchase it again. Um, I like the Yardley soap better. So I'll use it and then, eh, kind of drying. Then I have the Equate Brand Nail Polish Remover. Um, I bought another one of these. This is what I use. I use the non-acetone just because it doesn't dry my cuticles out like acetone does. Even though if you put on glitter, nail polish, this takes a lot longer to get it off. But that's okay because my fingers aren't dry. Then I have the Degree... 24 Motion Sense Clinical Protection Sheer Powder Deodorant. This is the only deodorant I use. Um, I wish it didn't have aluminum in it, but it does. I can't really find any without aluminum that I like, so for now, that's it for that. Then I have this Nature's Aclame 100% Sweet Almond Oil. I got this from um, Vitacost. Also, I used it as a carrier oil and mixed perfume oils in it so I could use them on my body. And I like it. I would buy that again. I like coconut oil better though, so let's see about that. Then I got the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Strong Length Nourishing Shampoo. Um, it was okay. It wasn't great. 
but it was alright. I know some people really like this. Yeah, I probably won't buy it again. Then I have, I'm going to do the makeup last because it's all. I have this Satin Care Dry Skin um, Shave Gel. This was just a shave gel, nothing fancy. Um, I liked it, it was okay. I like the skin tints the best though. Then I have this Yardley's Sugar Plum Blossom Soap. Um, I really liked this soap. Yardley's is my favorite brand and I noticed that they have it at the Dollar Tree now, so yay Dollar Tree. Then I have this Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play that I got in an Ipsy bag. I really, really, really loved this hairspray. If you want an updo or something where you do not want your hair to move, your hair will not move when you use this. It's like glue. So that's an awesome hairspray for that. Then I have this little travel crest complete um, whitening plus scope. This was a nice toothpaste. I don't know where I got that, but I got it somewhere. Then I have the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer in 001, which I took the cap off and scraped out with my beauty spatula and put it in another container um, because the only problem with this packaging, it's nice it has a pump. However, when you get to like here, you cannot pump it out anymore. So you have to break this top off and scrape it out. Um, I have some perfume samples that I ordered from Etsy. This is from Blushy. This is Pineapple Orchid. It smelled really good. And this one is from Wiggle Perfume and this is Dejuna and it smells really good well as well. Wiggle Perfume is an amazing um, perfume oil site on Etsy and I highly recommend go on Etsy and check out Wiggle because it is amazing. I also have Nikki Makes Sense Perfume Oil and this is the Vera Wang Princess Type. I liked this as well. Um, these three perfume oils are the ones I put in the Sweet Almond Oil as a carrier oil so I could spray it on my body. Okay, the last things I have are, oh no, one more of these. The Oncoming Storm from Blushy. This smells really, really, really fresh, really good. Love it. Okay, the rest is all lip products that I am tossing and I'll tell you why here. This is the Femme Couture Super Juicy Sheer um, Lip Gloss. It was so sticky. I didn't like it. It smells okay, but I don't like when your lips stick together and there's like goo. It's disgusting. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of the Wet n Wild Mega Last. Um, what is this? Liquid lip color. It is so drying. Your lips are like clumpy. Like the color just clumps together. It is nasty. So I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I don't know why that was in there. Then I have this Revlon Perfect Wear uh, lip gloss in Infinite Berry. It's just super old. I've had this for years. It's getting like, can you see? It's gloopy and old. So just getting rid of that because it's old. Then I have this NYC Smooch Proof Lip Stain 16 Hour. I just hated it. It was very drying. Um, I didn't like it. It's gone. Then I have two Wet n Wild um, lipsticks. And these are just the 99 cent ones. This is 545A and 547B. And they're just like... Um, this is so orange. I don't know if you can see that. Orange and shimmery, like, not in a good way. I thought it was going to be a pretty nude. It's pretty disgusting. And then this one is um, a really pretty color. When you put it on your lips, it looks like that 80s shimmer. I didn't like that at all. This one is also from Wet n Wild, and it's Pink Suede Mega Colors. Um, also, the same thing. I think I was looking for the perfect nude not the perfect 80s shimmer. So, go on. Whoops. Then I have this e.l.f. lip gloss, which was in Dragon Fruit. Super gooey. Can you see that? It is so gooey. Like, that's how it looks on your lips. Slimy, gooey mess. Pretty color, though. Smells good, but goopy. 
Then I have this uh, Avon lip color in iced coffee. It's just old. It smells like chemically now, and I've had it a long time, so it's going. Then I had this, um, what is this? Maybelline Wet Shine in Wine Shine. I used a lot of this. There's hardly any left, but it's old too. It has that yucky chemically smell. And then the last three are also really old. Um, this is probably at least six years old. This was the Bare Minerals Lipstick in a Remember. Beautiful color, but as you can see, it's like getting like moisture on it. It's falling apart. It's just really old. Um, and then the last two were just like gift with purchases from Clinique. And they're super old too. This is a different grape. Um, it stinks. It's old. It's gross. And this one is in Think Bronze. And it's a shimmery bronze color. But again, just that old smell. So that is everything for um, my empties video this month. Products I used up. And um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.